keynote speaker. This is Vincent Zhang, the Vice President of Micro BT, and he's going to be discussing zero emission mining. Good afternoon, my friend and uh, some uh, new friend in future, millionaires and uh, billionaires in future. Welcome to Dubai and uh, welcome to Blockchain Live 2023. Uh, so it's a good, uh, great pleasure so I can share some uh, thoughts from uh, uh, our site. Uh, before that, I want to check. So, how many of you have uh, Bitcoin miners? Oh, <laughs> it seems buying Bitcoin is easier than mining. Huh? Uh, however, so I hope that uh, after my speech, probably you know more of you. Uh, we are purchase uh, Bitcoin miners and trying to do mining business. Uh, so before that, I would uh, just share one small story uh, to all of you. So before I came to Dubai, so one of my uh, really close friend asked me, Vincent, so how to earn more money in year 2023? Because this my friend of mine is uh, also one of my client. So earlier they, uh, he had a mining facility in China. Okay, however, in the year 2020, all mining facility in China was closed. So he had a team to, you know, to pay salary every month. So it's a burden for him. And uh, so however, he asked me, so how to, you know, past this uh, tough uh, situation and I tell him so watch my speech uh, during the blockchain life and I will share some uh, experience from my side to make you understand how to do mining business in future. So today uh, the topic I want to share with all, all of you is that so in future we need to make Bitcoin mining as zero emission mining. So we need to do green mining in future. How to do that and what kind of challenge we suffer right now for Bitcoin mining. So first, as we all know that Bitcoin mining business consume huge capacity of power. Most, most of the government actually, they might against mining business because so too much uh, power consumption, power capacity was allotted for Bitcoin mining business might affect the power capacity for residential usage and uh, uh, industrial usage. And we all know at this moment, most of the energy used for Bitcoin mining actually are wasted. Okay, it is not reutilized maybe very small capacity of the mining, Bitcoin mining energy was able to be recycled, but the percentage is very low. And so because as, as I said, the access to the power will become more and more difficult for Bitcoin miners. So actually right now the challenge we are also facing is we have limited access to additional power capacity for uh, Bitcoin mining. And of course, so due to the reason we all know, so we come to know the cost of power can increase because of any reason. Okay, like gas price increase in, 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 in past one year. So many of the Bitcoin miners cannot afford for the high cost of the electricity. So these are the challenges we are facing as a Bitcoin miner, okay. Uh, nowadays. So, however, from our side as a 
second largest Bitcoin miner supplier, we have to say, okay, maybe in future we will be number one. But at this moment, we are second larger Bitcoin miner suppliers. So the opinion from our side is hydro cooling mining, Bitcoin mining system will change the game. Okay, so the reason behind that is we will do our best to make Bitcoin mining solution be able to generate the heat and those heat can be recycled. And by doing this, we will make Bitcoin miner be able to access more power capacity because this heat may be reutilized for residential purpose, for industrial usage purpose. And because we can recycle part of the heat by selling the heat to residential, to industrial purpose, so probably we will be able to recycle, okay, to get some of the power cost back by selling the heat. So this will help us to lower the cost of the power for mining purpose because you might be able to recycle 50%, 60% or even 100% back. So you will be able to do zero emission of mining. So this is the opinion from our side and so we will go further and see what preparation or what gonna happen in future. So right now we already have a hydro cooling mining system which can work under 60 Celsius degrees. So which means the output water uh, pump out from uh, the, the, the miners can reach 60 Celsius, degree, uh, 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 Celsius degrees. So however, our R&D team is working very hard to enhance the output temperature of the water to 70 Celsius degree and further in the Q4 this year, we will be able to achieve to 80 Celsius degrees for the output water. Okay, so in case we enhance the output water of the mining system to 80 Celsius degrees, so we will open new window to Bitcoin miners. So in future, you will not only mining Bitcoins, you will be also a part of heat supply. Okay, heat supplier, you basically selling the bitcoins one time and another hand you are selling the heat uh, you know to whosoever need the heat okay so you might ask so what is the dis difference between air cooling and hydro cooling what is the advantage uh, hydro cooling mining system have and what is the difference okay what is the benefit i can get so first uh, our hydro cooling mining system work at three phases power, which is uh, 380 to 480 volt power. So this mining system can be suitable for all our uh, electricity, which is available across the world. So some of the countries use 380, some, some of the countries use 480. So one system can be flexible to all the uh, power we can see in, uh, across the world and another benefit for our hydro cooling mining system is that so uh, it can work from 5 kilowatts to 10 kilowatts and of course as I said the output temperature of the water will be 60 to 80 Celsius degrees in the coming future so these are the uh, basic uh, technical features we can have and of course uh, so uh, there, there are some other advantages, for example, okay, so the cost of infrastructure will be cheaper than immersive cooling miners. And second is because the working temperature of the chips is more uh, stable. So the performance of the miners will be more uh, stable too. And because it can work between 5 kilowatts to 10, 10 kilowatts, so uh, it is more flexible to, uh, to the power cost. So, uh, in many of the cases, actually, it's difficult to fix the power cost for mining. So, the power cost fluctuate. So, however, in our case, you can use our hydro cooling miners 
change the power consumption of the miners uh, based on the uh, through the API, you will be able to make the miners work in different uh, power consumption mode. So, and so you might ask, uh, uh, so how to find use cases for recycling the uh, the, the heat? So here I'm just sharing with you uh, small. Uh, some of the, the, the user cases we can see first is for residential uses. For example, you can supply heat for standalone house or for residential community, or you know supply hot water to hotels, to hospitals, to university, to schools. Okay. And second is for agriculture. So you can uh, use hot water for uh, fish, fish farms for greenhouses, and of course, for industry purpose also. So you can do like seawater desalination and do wooden process, processing and textile or food drying. Okay, so these are the, some of the cases we can see uh, where the hot water or, or we say where, where the heat is required. Uh, so for the hydro cooling mining system, so we also share, you know, the information for you. First part is the miners. You can see the miners uh, we have right now. It's like a blade server. It's a 2U high, uh, high, high server. So it looks like, a, uh, you know, traditional uh, HP or Dell server. And we have, uh, second is we have a racks and the coolant distribute unit to accommodate the miners and distribute the coolant, the, the cold water to different miners. And of course, in case the heat cannot be recycled, so we will uh, use cooling system to cool down the miners like we use dry coolers uh, in our case. So these are the, uh, uh, you know, the brief introduction of our uh, mining system. Okay, so the suggestion I give to Bitcoin miners is, so first, build hydro cooling data center and find reutilizing scenario. And so go with us for hydro cooling and we hope that all the Bitcoin miners can not only do mining business, but so we also supply heat uh, to, you know, whatever purpose which is required heat and make Bitcoin mining zero emission in future. And so all of us will become either millionaire or billionaire in future. When Bitcoin price be like $200,000. So I think we might see this in near future. So this is all about my speech. If you have any question, you can ask, or you can find me out of the, uh, this uh, 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 room. Okay, so I'm ready to share more experience from, our, uh, from my side. Okay, thank you. Like India and China is a Should, should, should I have like a question session? Vincent is eager for questions, so I hope someone in the audience has some questions, please. Anyone put your hand up if you have a question. Okay, maybe I speak too fast. Huh? No, I think there is one hand up somewhere. No, or is someone just stretching? Oh, oh, oh no, we've now got two hands. Got a hand up over here, please. Oh. Uh, Zach here from Singapore. Uh, thank you for your sharing. I think it's really insightful. Thank you. Yeah. I uh, wanted to ask, because I see that you are reusing the heat that's generated, right? Instead of having wastage of heat uh, re regenerated. So it's probably is only useful in cold countries, right? Is there any countries that you think it's uh, best to locate such uh, data centers to do uh, hydro cooling uh, and reuse the heat? I, I probably think Dubai is not a good place to, to use, right? <laughs> because it's really hot. So in Dubai, I will tell you how to reutilize the heat. <laughs> Okay, so people in Dubai do not, do not need, um, you know, heat for warm the house. Okay, but uh, let's say they actually need um, a possible way, they need the heat to do seawater desalination. Okay, so in uh, Middle East, actually the heat generated by mining system can be reutilized 
to desalination the seawater. So they do not need uh, you know, the, the heat. They have too much heat, but they need water. Or you know, uh, the heat generated by the miners can be recycled by non-electrical conditioner. So probably you know some of the uh, f farms, so they actually use air conditioner to raise mushroom, to grow, uh, you know, to, to plant a mushroom. So what we can do is we can do mining business, generate hot water at 80 Celsius degrees, and use this 80 Celsius degrees hot water to make chill water by some uh, non-electric uh, electrical conditioner. So which is capable to do that, to do that. we will generate uh, like four Celsius degrees cold water. This cold water can be uh, you know, cool down the greenhouse in Dubai to make, to plant mushrooms. Probably you will see in the near future that, you know, you, you have uh, tomatoes plant uh, with the mining system, okay, behind that. Thank you, yeah. Amazing, thank you so much, Vincent. It is truly incredible to hear about sustainability behind mining. Do we have one more question out there as well? Does anyone else have a question? Yes, this gentleman just here has a question. Sorry, Vincent, for keeping you on stage. It's bright up here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your speech. I actually have been working with uh, hydro machines for like a couple of years now. Uh, I live up in the north of Sweden, in the north side of Sweden, so we have like minus 40 winter time. Uh, and I actually uh, got up to 70 degrees with some like cooling plates from both sides in the ship. But do you have guys any uh, plan to upgrade that ship, uh, the ship so it can uh, survive more from the heat? Because as you know, when you increase the, the heat in the ships, they will get lower performance. So do you have any plan to do anything about the ships as well to survive with the hydro machines? Thank you. Yeah. So as I shared in the slides in the presentation, so in the near future, we're going to enhance the output water temperature to 80 Celsius degrees. So actually we have a partner in Sweden. They are uh, using mining system to do preheating the water and the supply to heating district in uh, uh, Sweden. Okay, so this is the uh, result you can see maybe in near future, the output water generated by the mining system will be at 80 Celsius degrees. However, so how, how to achieve that? So we have two ways to achieve that. One is we will redesign the chip. So we, we use open die design of the chip, okay, to make the chip will be able to uh, survive in higher temperature, okay. This is a, a, a first and second is that, so uh, we will uh, change the design on the code plate, okay, so to uh, be able to take the heat out efficiently. So right now we only have uh, one code plate with uh, two hash boards. So in future we will have uh, three code plates for uh, maybe two hash boards in future. So the design is being uh, on the way. So you will see uh, 80 Celsius degrees hydro cooling miners only be able to achieve the by what's minor. Okay. Nobody, nobody else can do that. Okay, let's get a round of applause for our whole panel. This has been so insightful about the mining industry. Thank you all so, so much. We are going to